It's a beautiful morning. Tuesday. Yeah. And it's still chilly. I don't know what the temp is, but it's got to be about ooh, 8, 10 degrees, something like that. Let's have a look at the sun. It's just gorgeous. Hang on. And it sounds like we've got a little bit of activity on the freeway this morning too. Uh, which is great. I haven't heard that for a while. The restrictions have been lifted a little bit uh, here in Victoria. The borders are still closed. But uh, people can travel a little bit further than before. And hopefully the restrictions will be off fully, fairly soon. Okay, there we are. Yep, it's raining and uh, it's gotten terribly dark. I've got the lights, that's how, that's how dark it really is. The lights, the LED lights on the, the automatic lights have come on outside just because I'm moving around. But uh, the camera makes it look a lot brighter than it actually is. But it's been raining for a little while now and looks like we're going to get some, some really heavy rain. Well, here we go. It's bin day, and you can see it's cloudy. And if uh, you look at the, I can't show it to you on the uh, on the internet, but the the radar. But uh, we're in a window. Either side of us, it's raining. And that way, and up this way, and the weather's going that way. <laughs> so. We're getting the walk in, and hopefully I'll get home before the weather comes in from that side, and I get drowned. Hi, yeah, we're back in the shed, and it's actually it's looking good. We've had a couple of days of rain, and we've been looking good. But uh, oh, the, this chainsaw thing went uh, to what to Wangaratta again to Bunnings to get this bit with the the starter and everything. And it arrived. It was there. And I handed over all my paperwork. And this is the receipt right there. And then this is the order form and everything. They sent the wrong one. Well, it was the right one. But it didn't come with screws. Now, you know, I asked for screws. I said, good, we have screws. And they said, oh, yes. And so... We got somebody else's, I think, or it might have been a double up order, but they sent one and it didn't have screws. So I said, well, you know, I've got screws because I've got them here. I'll just go out of picture a second and I'm back in picture again. And I've got the, the screws right here in this little cap. They're screws and they're right there. I'll put them back so I won't lose them, okay? I'll put them right because I probably, <laughs> I don't know whether I'm gonna get any more screws. It's like pulling teeth. Anyway, they said, look, don't worry about it. Um, we'll order them for you. And they actually knew about them. He said, oh, look, they've, they've got written down on the, on the computer screws. So they knew about it. But what, what they said, look, go home. And we'll call you. I said, looks okay. I've got a mobile phone. You can call me anytime. Ah, uh, they said, oh, great. Good. Yes, we'll do that. And um, yes, yeah, so we're waiting for their call. I think I'll have to ring them again uh, just to get them motivated. But anyway, it's a good thing we don't need the thing immediately. That's all I've got to say. But it's getting a bit long in the tooth, but we will get there. And the saga of the magpie continues. He's just outside. This is Sunday morning, right? And he's just out there. I walked out and he nearly got me because I'm not wearing a hat. And he nearly got me. And um, so what I've resorted to, I did have a stick. But now I've got my six foot fishing rod. It's six and a half foot. And... I'll walk around with this thing. And uh, hopefully, 
uh, in a couple of weeks, his hormones will have settled down. And because he's got a couple of uh, squawking children, uh, chicks that he's looking after, they're running around after him going, quack, quack, feed me. So he's doing a lot of feeding and hopefully that uh, the, the protective thing, the, the swooping and attacking other people, especially me, uh, will stop and he'll just calm himself down, which is uh, what I hope he'll do very soon. If I had a gun, <laughs> he'd be a past magpie. It's, it's come close a couple of times. Mrs. Max got the same thing. She's out in the garden and this thing comes down. So we're just going to have to win it and wear it for maybe a couple more weeks. Yeah, we're back. And uh, I'll give you a look at the fishing rod. I've got three of them here. Uh, this is uh, mine. This is that one. My magpie protection. So we've got that there. And that's, that's Mike's. Uh, <laughs> he's so bored with the, the lockdown in Melbourne especially that uh, we were talking and he said, I just even wanted to go fishing. I said, you want to go fishing? Yeah. So anyway, we'll get them up here. Maybe we will do that. We will go fishing. You need a license up here. I don't think in Melbourne, because I've got the Port Phillip Bay is right there. I don't think you need a license yet to uh, go fishing in, in Port Phillip Bay. Maybe you do these days, I don't know. But because of the lockdown, and we've been locked down so much that uh, I've taken to watching all the Donald Trump rallies. <laughs> Incredible. That man is like the Energizer Bunny. I was watching him this morning, Sunday morning. Uh, he was like, in, in our time, at 1 a.m. he was at one particular place that I can't remember. Then uh, this morning at 8 a.m., he was at uh, Circleville in Ohio. And in an hour from now, he's going to be in, in uh, oh, I'm going to get this name, Wonkashaw, oh, not Wonkashaw, it's Wonkashaw, I think, is the way you pronounce it, in Wisconsin. Forgive me for mispronouncing the name. Anyway, he's in Wisconsin in about an hour from now. So it's just all over the place. Yeah, uh, he's about what, 70, 74, 75 years old. I wish I had his energy. But anyway, I hope you're living your life and everything's good and we'll catch up with you next week.